I remember the first social media platform that I was a part of. I was pretty much obsessed with making new friends all the time. I wanted to be friends with everyone and it really mattered to me how many friends I had on this specific platform. These days, I actually find myself unfriending people, people that I either don't know or don't really have a relationship with. If I'm honest, I only have a handful of really close friends and I've learned that it's better to have small circles filled with authentic relationships instead of large ones filled with people who might say that you're amazing and they really don't know me. I think a lot of people have forgotten what the meaning of a friend is and what healthy friendships look like. I mean, I know that I am guilty of this. <laughs> At one point in my life, I'd gotten lost in friendships that were aesthetically pleasing, meaning they look good to others, or what kind of friendships would make me look cool or make me feel cool. And I've even based some friendships I've had in the past on how popular they were in turn, how popular they would make me. And of course, that's the worst way to acquire friendships. The type of friendships that we should be seeking are ones that will show and mirror the same love that Christ shows us. If we're not connecting with people that will help us grow and be transparent and be honest with us, we'll always find ourselves rotating people in and out of our circle. And that's because they'll never be able to be life-giving and life-changing to us. So moving forward, my challenge to you is to be a little bit more intentional about your friendships. And what does that look like? Consideration and lots of prayer. If you're unsure about who you should be letting in your space, just ask God to give you the clarity and wisdom. In Proverbs 2 and 6, it says, for the Lord gives wisdom from his mouth and comes knowledge and understanding. So you can literally get wisdom clarity and knowledge and understanding all from God if you go to him and ask for the wisdom you desperately need through prayer and his word. I am a firm believer of asking God about the most minute things in life just because I feel like he cares about me that much. So if I trust him with small decisions like a parking space, surely I can ask him to give me wisdom on who I let in my space. We don't have to let everyone in, but we are called to show Jesus to everyone. And I know setting boundaries can be hard, especially if you're a social butterfly and you thrive off of being around people. I'm not saying that you can't be that way, but just remember the ones you allow access to are going to either cultivate or kill the qualities that God has already instilled in you. If you've enjoyed this video, click the thumbs up icon and comment below. We love hearing from you. Please help Trinity reach out to others and share this video with a friend by clicking the share link below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell for notifications so you don't miss anything. God bless your day.